was more the established environment. Yes, and I guess that's the kind of many things are such that there are no absolute uh, truths or solutions that kind of would encompass all the kind of needs, but there are some aspect A and aspect B like uh, information retrieval, there's precision and recall, right. and then we need to find somehow uh, good balance between those, that like Google then right. succeeded in improving both of them at the same time, right. and, uh, and the same way I have seen that in regarding questions uh, of pe uh, peace and, and war, so the question is that how do we make uh, security and freedom to actually be promoted uh, in parallel yeah. because it easily happens that one thing is being optimized and the other one goes yeah, down and so on. So we would need to find solutions that helps help in in all these different yes. criteria around us. But at least I'm hopeful through the fact that we are collecting data and we have these systems mm -hmm. because there's potential to kind of. Uh, approach these things e in a better way, not only to kind of take it for some specific narrow pur purpose and goal, but even yeah. a more like global optimization somehow. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think, I mean, at the looking, I mean, uh, related to the, to the thing that you just mentioned about like finding the right balance, I think we are exactly at the situation that we have to find the right balance, like. Moving, moving, kind of the, solving these societal questions in, in the old ways, and like uh, keep making sure that our democracies work as mm. they have been always working. So I think it's important not to forget that like the things that used to work might actually just stop working if we don't pay attention. So making sure that that works, and while then like kind of utilizing these new advancements at the same time, yes, and not like it, like kind of hoping that like only one of them can do, but I mean somehow trying to develop both of them in in, in, in concert. So yes. And uh, maybe I would like to conclude this uh, session by asking that do you have experience or have you seen interesting work uh, related to intentions, so to say, because yes. it has been a very common discussion uh, about that if we have straightforward machine learning approach, so the, like the very old idea about the, uh, thrash in, thrash out, but anyway, so that <coughs> if we model the, some phenomenon through data and we are not careful about that, so the, the system swears or whatever, uh, as kind of as much as the proportion of the, the, those people who have been swearing there and so on. And if we want to have a decent guy or uh, lady to kind of uh, be automatic uh, kind of system to talk, so how do you have you seen some developments that would be interesting from this point of view how to include intention which of course is quite a tricky question so that who do we let to kind of yes that? now i think i mean that is i think the, the kind of the, the question of intention like relates to the question of like a behavior and yes. like what was the intention behind the behavior Yes. And like, uh, like actually, like that is of course you know, oftentimes when you when you try to think of the kind of the, the, the think of the things that like these like big companies are interested in. Let's say trying to make sure that like a Netflix like shows you like a uh, like a the, like a recommendations that you might be interested in seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's use that as an example. So there, the the interesting thing is that like um, people have oftentimes like a very noble thoughts and like uh, that like what kind of people they would desire to be mm. and like people that like all, all like only want to see the, the kind of the, the, the big classic movies of, of the of the world and like they want to see them uh, like as, as a person like that but I mean then at the end of the day when they are on the couch like kind of on Friday I mean although that might be somehow their intention to be a person like that I mean they end up like choosing like some latest Adam Sandler comedy yes. I mean like because that like just happens to be entertaining at the moment yes. and I, I think that is that is definitely I mean it is an interesting question in the modeling point of view how do we distinguish between the, the, the kind of oh how do we like a, uh, like a, try to detect the intention on the other hand like it is a big challenge also in a human point of view like we don't oftentimes understand our intentions we most definitely don't understand other people's intentions yes and, and, and then like kind of a trying to kind of a disentangle the kind of the behavior from the intention and also the intentions are oftentimes mixtures of different intentions so and again i mean comes to the, the topic of like people being like very complex entities so but uh, i see there one positive 
uh, opportunity is that we will and we are all the time having more uh, means to understand ourselves and each other and the kind of world around us. Absolutely. So yeah. there, there's certain kind of transparency also, even though, of course, there are critical voices say, saying about that the data is uh, kind of within the companies and so on, but the kind of the overall long-term process is such that we are actually learning about ourselves too. Yeah, in and various I, ways. That is, and I think that is really fascinating to see. Very hard to know how it plays out in the very long term over the next hundred years. But going back to the thing that we discussed in the very beginning about the urban game and like how how actually having this technological device allowed people to change their behavior that had nothing to do with the, with the device per se. It's just it was a conduit for yes. changing behavior. And like now going back to inventions and, and thinking like maybe if we use te technology as a conduit to kind of a maybe surface that okay so there may, there may be even like a conflict between intention so a conflict between the behavior and the intention maybe mm. that will actually then like help people to also just like start thinking about the, the behavior and like other human beings in a different way yes yes so and the how to kind of deal with ourselves and each other and so yeah. and when there are some tensions so that how to kind of smooth and and slow down the processes that we may, might lead into a negative Yeah, I think like one, one big challenge there is that like, I think these are really big generational things that, yes. I, uh, that like, oh, like looking at my kids and like how they use technology, it's so very different than like what I grew up with. Yes. And, and I, I, I think that the interesting challenge is uh, that like we build something now and like we will start like really under, even understanding and seeing the impact over like the next like 30 years or in yes. the next generation and I think I mean of course obviously that is a big responsibility for us but it's almost like this like a massive like an ongoing experiment so. yes huge experiment <coughs> that we have so and that's why I've been talking about the kind of idea and even facts I would say that we are kind of encountering a change in the humankind that is unforeseen Right. So, because we are dealing with kind of processes related to our mind, our understanding, our cultures, and so on. Yeah. And that's why even these kind of uh, questions related to that are handled by religions and so on. So they are coming here, and these kind of, I would say, negotiations between the kind of our, let's say, uh, physical and natural science understanding and our understanding of our our kind of biological and then cultural and then uh, our basis of our values and how do we deal with this whole thing but at least I see it also so that most of the time around us the things are going well yeah. so like now here in Espo, Finland so the, all the time when we see people kind of going around and some people are neutral or happy or whatever right. and and then people when they meet each other they are either neutral or then they happily yeah. kind of encounter each other so much of the time actually what we have around us is either neutral or positive yeah and then of course we are kind of concerned about the things which are negative right and then of course I mean there is a there's kind of a bias there and I, I think like one of the most encouraging positive things is that like if you look at the many Western countries actually the levels of crimes has been going down, especially if you look at the behavior of teenagers. I mean, it seems that almost across the board, teenagers are like behaving better than the like, than, previous than generation. The previous. I mean, getting getting less intoxicated. I mean, like making having less petty crime, and, and so forth. And of course, I mean, no one knows why that is the case. I mean, maybe 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 it is like less lead in the gas, or like maybe it is thanks to Facebook and Instagram and the fact that like well, I mean, it, it is in a way. I mean, maybe I mean this might be a controversial idea, but I mean maybe it is a, in a way. I mean, better way. Of, of like a dealing with other people I mean like at least in a sense I mean it is it is kind of a, a giving maybe less opportunities for some of those negative behaviors at the same time now we have other kind of problems of course and, yes. I, and I, I guess this is the this is the challenge about like finding the balance that we solve one thing and like kind of a, then we, we serve as another type of problem but I, I think this is as you pointed out I mean like a very like a very encouraging and like a very positive that like we can we can start seeing that actually like we see this massive uh, societal like beneficial things and then like let's say I mean like the crime might be one thing that's improving and then we, we could be seeing the same thing in many other fields as well yes and like the use of social media has all kinds of aspects 
uh, which can be also to be considered to be negative in some cases. But anyway, the increased transparency in the whole system is something which is also a potential. Yeah. So there are some hiccups which are really uh, kind of important, but I would say that there is this our ability to kind of deal with things in this kind of inherently complex situation because if we want to be more democratic and to be more uh, down to earth so that the all people will have their uh, increased freedom but how to organize things that this increased freedom comes along with increased uh, responsibility yeah. and how do we carry our responsibility and how to organize these things.